for AC Milan, Alberto Bigon. Guess ready to take. Some distance is uh, out, he's uh, floated inside the area, and then the shot is parried away expertly by Schultz. It was a shot from Trasoldi. Some protection. His East German debut against Bulgaria back in 1969. Another player that started in that 72 Olympics team, and the header isn't that far away. It's Bob Asset again. 12 goals. August. Being taught by Rivera. Still Gianni Rivera. He made his Serie A debut for Alessandro when just 15. Rivera. Made for Borussia Mönchengladbach the advantage. from Ragust, Sparvas awaiting for it, Ragust, oh and it's gone in, it's an own goal by Enrico Lanzi, well Ragust on the left hand side was certainly crossing here for Sparvas and it's Enrico Lanzi that comes in and diverts the ball past Per Luigi Pizzavala. Sparvas towards Ragust. Shot this time. Flicks up and flicks behind and he could have gone up anywhere. It was Sabadini initially that got in the way. It's a little bit of noise from the Rossignani supporters. This is Hoffman to the line and that's a good save from Pizzaballa and it scrambled away and Sparvas is there and he's still there and Sparvas can he get the shot away and again Pizzaballa to the rescue for AC Milan passage of play that so nearly brought another Magdeburg goal here Sparvas had an excellent chance he poked it into and they've got to up their game against the East Germans if they're to Back on level terms. Spavasa again here. Good man probing away. Another throw in on this near side to try and put some pressure on that uh, Magdeburg goal. It's a good looking ball in Rivera and it's off the line by Abraham. Whether that would have gone in, I'm not so sure the keeper was there as well. It was a well directed header from Gianni Rivera, wonderful cross. I think it would have gone in, you know. Be gone with the flick initially. Benetti, Rivera wants it, still Benetti. Can't get the shot away first time of asking, then he can, and that's a good stop from Ulrich Schultz. 26-year-old former locomotive Leipzig man. Staying on his line. As the shot came in. The side can string more than two or three passes together at the moment. Come up one way, and they get the ball taken off him, and it goes the other way. This is Hoffman, meanwhile, and Sagin is arriving. He made it all wrong. Till. Could be in round the back here. Sagin scores from a tight angle. And Magdeburg have a second. Confusion inside the Milan penalty area. Lanzi couldn't get there, and from a tight angle, it's Wolfgang Seguin that gets Magdeburg second. Pierre Luigi beats the ball, beaten at his near post. Shot rifled into the roof of the net by Seguin. Surely now Magdeburg are big, big favourites to win the Cup Winners' Cup. 15 minutes remaining. Another European trophy. And they disappointed tonight. Lanzi on goal just before half time. Schultz will knock it over. And then on 75 minutes, Seguin's goal. 
Torini to take. Sparvasa, who's been excellent tonight, as has the 19-year-old Martin Hoffman, willing to run it. And Quiletti Hoffman shot wide. The Oberliga title in 72, as we know. Can Milan get back into the game here and force a grandstand finish in Rotterdam? They need something. It's over the wall, but wide. Brings across towards Svarbassa. Tilt. Svarbassa gets the shot away. That's a wonderful save from Pizza Bala. That looked destined for the top corner. Well struck effort from Jurgen Sparvasa. And another good, confident, positive move from Magdeburg. Despite being two goals to the good, they have plenty forward in the attack. Langening players back behind the ball. August leaves it and eventually it's come to Sparvasa. So again inside the penalty area. Still waiting for the cross to come in and it's flipped back here. It still might be a third and it's just over. Well, there were three players inside the six-yard area here. Svarvasa let it go. And when the cross came in, that was a wonderful flick. And Hoffman, I think, tried to get something on it eventually. And it was Hoffman, just couldn't wrap the left boot around it. It is Till. Goes for goal himself, side netting. Well, there's so many gaps now at the back. And out wide for Enger, who all played their part. Here is Gower again. Torini wins it back. The referee has seen enough, and it's Magneburg with an historic win here against the mighty AC Milan. 2-0 winners in Rotterdam over the Serie A side. Goals in either half, a Lanzi own goal just before the break. And a second blockbuster 15 minutes before time. What a story. It's the East Germans that have done it. And Magdeburg are the...